welcome back to another episode of Sammy Skimp Bob's Um to Billionaire, Mug to Millionaire. Uh, it's a reality playthrough series on Euro Truck Simulator 2, and we're going to be carrying on his journey from the last job that he did, delivering the reservoir tank from Mould to Reno Logistics in Trondheim. Luckily enough for Sammy, his next job, what he's been given, is across the road in Norsken. It is a 20 ton load of outdoor floor tiles and it's an intercompany job coming from Trondheim to Lillehammer. He's been given a DAF X105, a yellow one, which is a bit of a yucky colour. And for this job of 338 kilometers or 210 miles in old money, he'll be paid 181 euros or the pound equivalent of 154 pounds. On his journey, he's going to be taking the E6 and he's going to be following it down through Opdal, down to Donbass, where he's going to go south on the E6 through Otter and then down into Lillehammer where he is going to drop off at Norsken we'll just let him get out of this traffic and then we'll continue on stories of what happened to him while he was in prison so after Sammy's court case he was given six months imprisonment uh, he was taken down into the cells where he was going to be transported to Husted prison which is around 50 60 kilometers outside of Mulder he was sat in that holding cell for about three three hours until one of the guards came and got him he was put into a, a security wagon which had like little holding bays in it well, three by three not enough room to swing a cat. It took around an hour to get from the courts to Husted Prison, where he then had to wait another extra half an hour whilst the officers did all their paperwork and everything and spoke to the guards at the prison. He was then taken from the van into the prison reception area uh, the process where he was processed into the system which took about another hour he was taken by a prison officer into a small area and he was searched and every little nook and cranny search that you could think of which was very unpleasant experience for him. Oh, whilst he was there, all his clothing was bagged up, all his um, belongings were bagged up. He was given a prison uniform, blankets, and the basic amenities for his stay, which was like a toothbrush, a brush, a small amount of toothpaste, a cup, knife, a plastic knife and fork. So he was then given all the instructions by the prison officers and then placed into another holding cell whilst prison officers dealt with other prisoners. This process was slow and very time consuming and boring. But once they dealt with all the other prisoners, he was then seen by a medical officer who asked him if he had any problems and after that, he was taken into a room where he had his photograph taken. He was given an identity card which had his name, his picture, his date of birth and his prison number. He was expected to carry this ID with him all the time so that if anything did happen to him, they would know who they were dealing with. After he'd got his identity card, he was then asked to sign his belongings away he was made to check that everything that they had taken off him was on the list and he signed this 
to an effect. He was also given a Bible in case he was religious. And then he met one of the senior officers who asked him a lot of questions. And these questions were mainly to decide whether he was a risk to himself or suicidal. He was then given a, a pack, which uh, because he's a non-smoker, it contained some biscuits and a drink. And then he was put back into a holding room waiting to be taken onto the wing where he was gonna be shown to his room. Luckily enough for Sammy though, um, Bustad Prison is only a small prison, it's just for short term prisoners and it has a maximum of 60 prisoners in at one time. Well, when he was uh, handed over to the wing officers, he was shown to his room which it just consisted of a bed, a TV, a small bedside cabinet where he could put the rest of his belongings in that bed. On his bed already was just basic clothing like just a few pairs of socks, a few pairs of underwear, some t-shirts, top, uh, joggy bottoms and when they get dirty they get exchanged. He's quite lucky Sammy though because he was in a cell on his own even though he was bored half the time because most of the inmates that were already in there spoke Norwegian and he was the only English person in there. He did get to speak to a few and they did understand some of the things that he was saying and they could speak to him in broken English. Oh, he was alright though. Sammy had already made the conscious decision that because with him being out on the road most of the time and sleeping away from home, just eating truck stops and butty bars and eating junk food, he'd been piling on a few pounds. So he decided that with this stay, he was going to get himself into shape, hit the gym for a little while and get himself into shape. Around 5pm there was a buzzer that sounded which was a call for meal time. His first meal in prison was nothing to write home about. It was no Michelin star um, meal. It consisted of something that was supposed to be a beef casserole. There was about two pieces of beef in it. Uh, the casserole sauce was quite watery. A few vegetables, sloppy mash, a slice of bread and a piece of fruit for dessert. He had a cup of tea and that was about it. I think because of what had gone on through the day, he left most of it. But one of the guys at the side of him decided that if he was going to leave it, he was going to eat it. So he gave it to another one of his uh, mates. He then went back to his room for an hour and then there was, how can you say, um, a bit of downtime where the inmates got together, they read books, watched TV together, played a bit of pool, a bit of snooker, cards, you know, games time. At 9pm he was then ushered back to his room where he got ready for bed and the lights went out about 9.15 and that was the end of Sammy's first day in prison.
Oh, there we go, another Lord safely delivered by Sammy. He'll be uh, a little bit closer to that truck that he dreams of and the road to starting up his own business. If you've liked what you've seen, just hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'll always get back in some form or another by a thumbs up and a love. Uh, just thanks for watching. And until next time, ta for now, and happy trucking! <laughs>